Listen, they say racism is a learned behavior. I ain't gonna lie, this is a PR nightmare right here. That parenting is screaming MAGA. Brittany, what the fuck are you thinking? k Fed called himself exposing. That's another fucking one of those trigger words too, right? This is just a lesson in cultural appreciation, let's say. Yeah, we, we gonna talk about this shit. Rants with Aunt Dammit. Rants with Aunt Dammit. Britney Spears and her baby daddy, K-Fed, they're in like some bitter war over visitation right now. And K-Fed called himself trying to expose. That's another fucking one of those trigger words too, right? Fuck out of here. K-Fed called himself exposing Britney as a bad mother by posting a video of her yelling at the boys. What? This, this shit gets messy. Like, I ain't even gonna hold you. Now, I ain't gonna lie, K-Fed, you really acting like a bitter baby mama out here. You showed up at the wedding, you know, she just got married. You showed up at the wedding on some extra shit, talk about some we friends and some dumb shit you was doing. I don't know. And Brittany, don't think that I'm letting you off easy. Yeah, we, we gonna talk about this shit. And personally, myself as a parent, yo, keep it real. Sometimes you just gotta yell at kids cause they need to know that you're real. And then you go hug them and tell them why you yelled at them, explain all of that shit so they don't end up in therapy later. Fuck out of here. But see, this is what happens when you open a can of worms. K-Fed exposed more than he or Britney both bargained for. Britney tried to counter his exposing or whatever the fuck you want to call it by telling the world how much her baby daddy K-Fed smokes weed. Yeah? Okay, well. She went on this long rant on uh, IG, basically defining what parenting is. And I'm with her. You really don't need a bunch of random people online telling you how to parent. That's just not cool. But she claims that K-Fed's house has more weed than Ludacris, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, and P. Diddy. Hold up, what? Ludacris, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, P. Diddy. Come on now, it's a well-known fact that 50 Cent and Jay-Z both claim that they don't smoke weed. And even if Ludacris or Diddy, they're not publicly known for weed. Brittany, what the fuck are you thinking? There's so much going on here. It's like so much. Let's unpack this. Britney Spears has been around, like, especially in the entertainment industry long enough to know when you're talking about weed, you gotta mention Snoop Dogg. How do you not mention weed and not Snoop Dogg, right? This is just a, a, a lesson in cultural appreciation, let's say, all right? You gotta have Snoop, Wiz Khalifa, Redman, and Method Man. Just like those four right there is enough. And if she had a good PR team, she'd have definitely threw in Willie Nelson so you don't get labeled a phobic. Everybody know Willie Nelson is is the whitest of the white and he smokes just as much weed as Snoop Dogg. You got Cheech and Chong, fucking Scooby-Doo and all of them, and you just decide to name a bunch of black men who don't really associate with weed. Fuck out of here. Not only was your rant culturally clueless, it definitely seemed a little racist or prejudiced, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. The fact that you posted all black men to make it seem like they are the prime example of what bad Harrington is, in the words of T.K. Kirkland. Who raised you? This is a PR nightmare right here. Over the last 13 years, Britney Spears' father has had control over her entire life. If you were around, you remember back in 2007, she had a very, very public like mental breakdown. She like shaved her head, she was out in public, she was just doing all sorts of crazy shit. Now, some might call it a cry for help, I don't know. That was also around the time where her and K-Fed, he was a backup dancer and they got together, had kids, got married, then divorced. He ended up getting full custody. When K-Fed got full custody, everybody was like looking at Britley like, okay, what's going on here, right? So when this conservatorship thing popped up, it was looked at as, okay, you know, uh, uh, she needs this help. That's how it was told to the public. Like, and for what I know, the information that I know, cause I'm not a Britney Spears fan, but from the information that I know, it was because of what was happening. We're now in the era of social media and where people are really taking other people's mental health into consideration. So it was no surprise that when, you know, years later, this whole conservatorship thing being brought up and we're all like, yeah, you know, that's wrong what they're doing to Britney, you know, send her to therapy. She's old enough to maintain and blah, blah, blah. Fast forward to 2019, her father stepped down as the, the motherfucker who oversees the conservatorship. He stepped down amid allegations of him physically abusing Britney's son, which is his grandson. I got some uh I got some bars for Jamie Spears too. You sit your ass right there. You just
Let's fast forward to the summer of 2021 where Britney Spears started speaking out about her conservatorship. She found social media or she was already there. I don't remember because like I said, I don't follow. I just remember when it started making noise. She let it be known like, you know, the, the whole world was riding behind her. She had the, the hashtag free Britney movement going and she really went into detail about like how her pops was treating her through these past 13 years. The woman is now 40 years old now. Let's keep that in mind. Like I said, not shooting her any better. I just want to put all the facts on the table so we know exactly what we're dealing with here because this is something deeper than just, you know, oh, it's an accident. Okay. So in November of 2021, a judge basically said this conservatorship has to end, right? Give Britney her life back. It's the American way, God damn it. If she wants to go out here and spend all her money on fucking hair dye and bubblicious bubble gum, she is entitled to do that because it's America. That's basically what everybody wanted to argue. Because when you think about it, having somebody help you through life isn't a bad idea. But her dad was a douchebag. I watched the documentary. He was a piece of shit. And once the conservatorship ended, Britney was out here wilding like she just finished a 13-year fed bid. She found Instagram. She leaked some nudes of, well, she ain't leak them. She put out her own nudes. She got married again. But this little rant she went on in regards to the rappers and the weed has a lot of people like myself questioning if they should have let her off this conservatorship. Fuck out of here. This is just another prime example of why some people just don't need to be online. Because if you do look at it from the perspective of a person that just came home from jail and they just hop online and they're just speaking their mind, kind of fucks you up. But remember, this woman's 40 years old. She's had not had control of her life, whatever. I'm sure some of you, you probably think I don't even need to be online saying this either. You're probably right. But if you're still watching, thank you. But we can't ignore Britney's rant and act like what she said wasn't problematic. There were some very good parts in it, but there's a real systematic problem in this statement. Take out the fact that she mentioned weed. Really not a big deal. Unless like the kids are smoking weed or something. Like, I don't know. What I'm saying is what you're doing is you're making it seem like black men are a prime example of what bad parenting looks like. Fuck out of here. Now I was with you when you said there's no definition for parenting, right? Because there isn't. Like you can read every book in the world that tells you what to expect and it's all not gonna work. Well, not all of it, but what I'm saying is everybody's experience is different and you don't need a bunch of strangers telling you how to parent your kids, but you can't use all black people as an example of bad shit. That's what I'm really getting at here. That parenting is screaming MAGA, MAGA, because I did some research now. And based on what I found, I, you know, came to a little conclusion. MAGA. Britney Spears was born and raised in Macomb, Mississippi. Now, historically, society in America, uh, most importantly, has shown us that deep in the South, in the deep, deep South, MAGA. We know how y'all feel about black people. And the, how does the saying go? They say that racism is taught, right? Like nobody's born racist. This is a learned behavior. And it makes me wonder if a guy who is willing to put his own daughter under a conservatorship so he can control her life, basically treat her like property, make her work so you can have all the money, you ain't never gotta do a damn thing ever again. If a guy's willing to do that to his own kid, his own flesh and blood. How you think those conversations in that house was growing up when it came to the households of black people? MAGA. So I'm sure growing up in that household, she probably heard a lot of problematic and inflammatory comment from her dad. So her right here projecting how upset she is, is a prime example of that learned behavior. MAGA. Because she was trying to think of the worst thing possible to make her ex look bad, who already made himself look bad because he, she should have just let him leave that picture up or the video up and he would have looked like a fucking punk ass because why are you doing this? But here you are, you jump out the window you get all the way in your emotions because that rant said emotions and listen I rant and I know emotions and Brittany you meant that shit and it's fucked up and if y'all think that's something wait till you hear about the racist dogs y'all ain't ready for that conversation <laughs> Rinse with ant damn it, rinse with ant damn it.